Ooh, there's another torpedo. Oh, it's heading like right my way. Maybe it'll pick up the moss. Oh, level everything out here. All right, we're going to disregard this. Uh... No, not do, don't do that. We're going to disregard this freaking periscope depth right now and try and sidestep this freaking torp. It seems to be heading straight my way. I should probably really turn the other way. I'm going to try and sidestep him. I was going to try and do it the other way, but... Mm. That seems too risky to do it the other way. I guess we're underneath the layer at this point. There's that tour back there. And we are crash diving. Probably good now at that point. Two thirds, I. Flood the skirt, flood the skirt, I. Except this way. Uh, I probably should. Mm, I don't know. This way is taking a while. Here, dude. Standard. We're cavitating at standard here. It's fine. I really want to try and sidestep this dude. That was a big looking torp. I know it's not a UGST, but it's like a bigger torp. Like a U-set or something. But yeah, let's go this way. Try and sidestep that sucker. Is that it? Powie, where am I looking? Two four zero. Yeah, I think that's it. Ah, I'm gonna turn the other way. I can see it there. Here, just give me freaking full speed here, man. I only got hit once. I mean, I guess the torp. I I did get hit in an earlier mission, but that got repaired. Is that a passive torp? Is that coming right for me? That is coming for me. Shit, that is a passive torp. Who's launching these wire guided torps? These wire guided torps. Okay, let's just run freaking straight for a little bit here. Steady course. Is that guy gonna dip down to come get me or something? He's just hanging out up there. I think I turned the wrong way earlier. Uh, it said there was a strong duct in the briefing. The conditions tab does not seem to be showing it, but it's demarcated by these bubbles. There's definitely a layer. As I've been getting deeper, I've been losing contacts. Okay, there he goes. I mean, I guess I could snapshot in that direction, but... This doesn't seem to be a very fast torpedo. I mean, it's kind of gaining on me, but not really that quickly. What kind of torp is this? Okay, well, it's getting pretty close, countermeasure. And let's break right. Could that be a test? Maybe that's a test. A test 71, it's not really going very fast. And test 71s aren't very fast torpedoes. That could be a test. Yeah, I guess, I guess it's from that whiskey. It's knuckle. It's really not that fast of a torpedo. Schoolsy. Let's uh, get another countermeasure out here. Which way are you breaking? Okay, broke right. <laughs> or left, like barely the last second. I was like, oh, does he just gonna ignore it and just come right up my butt there? Ugh. Man, I th oh, now they're back. Now they're back. I heard a helo somewhere. Torpedo has a lock. Torpedo has acquired. The knuckle worked. Which way are you breaking? Breaking right. Oh, shit. Screw you, man. Freaking just. Oh, God. It is avoiding all countermeasures. It is avoiding them all. But it is not a very agile torpedo. <laughs> it has to be a test. That is not a very capable torpedo. <laughs> uh. 
Yes, backspace is the center one. Yes, I keep forgetting about that. Okay. We may have dodged him now at this point. <sighs> just keep steaming. Keep st I should just make a beeline for the freaking drop-off point. I should just make a beeline. Uh, they'll probably swarm my ass with stuff. Okay, he's back there. Stuck in a circle search. That was a strong ping off that direction. I was hearing a helo. I, don't, I guess that moss is still running, but it's not. I'm not seeing it anymore. I'm far away from it. Uh, oh, thank you kindly. It's not a. It's. A, I'm pretty sure it's a test. It's a rather crappy torpedo. It couldn't even freaking match my pitch. <laughs> Uh, do I continue just trying to break track? I mean, I do want to try and get shallow. And see this dude. See someone on the periscope here. Just got myself an empty tube. Oh, I wanted to do the spec ops. I wanted to, like, nail it the first time, but I guess that was very much wishful thinking on my part. Let's just get up the periscope depth. I want to see who's around. See if I can't sink anyone, take someone down with me, because I'm like almost assured of my demise at this point. Damage control. They're somehow man they're somehow able to contain the flooding on that freaking gash. Somehow able to see that gash. Let's level everything out here at this point. I don't know what did he ask him. Fifty-three sixty-five K K E for export. Alrighty, we are up here. Let's get this scope up. I guess I can really quickly see what the signal strength is on it, which is nine. I guess I should lower it. <laughs> One six zero Garisha. Yeah, there's a helo close by, right over there. Ah. I don't know what I'm doing with this mission. <laughs> I do not know what I am doing with this mission. Something kind of due east as well. I'm not picking anyone up. They all seem to be kind of far, which makes sense because they're all dropping torps. Ambient noise is pretty high. 95 decibel. I do have a permit right now. Ice berthing? What do you mean, like... Ascending through the ice. Ice berthing. I guess let's just frickin' head due north, man. I don't know. Two thirds. Underneath the layer, two thirds. Get out of here. I guess my only options here are abandoned ship in terms of ending the mission or dying. Wow, that was a big explosion. <laughs> Seemed bigger than the others. I don't know. Seemed like a big one. Hmm. Dare I head back for the, the, the drop-off point? I don't know. I feel like I should. I don't know. This has been a very uneventful video. Very uneventful with this spec ops mission. Spec ops mission. Oh, hello, Cybermat. You control the boat with the good old Mark, Mark II finger. And then you can control ballast as well. Flooding or not flooding the tanks and the rate. The rate of flooding and pumping.
Okay, yeah. Let's go for it then. We're heading for that frickin' line. We're heading for the picket line. We are heading for the picket line. Two thirds. Balls to the wall. Heading for the picket. You are welcome, good sir. I'm I guess a good mission is supposed to be uneventful. Hello, Tech Atta. Take those seals to work. Oh, about time we're gonna do some work today. Two thirds ahead, what are you gonna do, bro? Come at me. Come at me, bruh. Bruh. I'll be waiting, bruh. <laughs> All your helos are out of torps. Okay, we're gonna have to pay. We have to mine the gap. So, do you really just have to like freaking barnstorm the mine line and hope you don't hit a mine? Cause that, that mine line was really dense with the mines there, dude. Wanna feel my torpedo? <laughs> it tells you how long you have before your torpedo falls off. <laughs> I am an expensive Uber driver. Damn right. Yeah, I got you with the minefield. I guess we're getting pretty, we're, yeah. We're about two miles away from that there, that done there mine field. I, you just have to bum rush the mine field, man. You just gotta bum rush it. That looks like a gap. That looks like a gap right there. That looks like a gap. Oh, this is terrifying. Oh, this is completely and utterly terrifying, but that looks like a decent gap right there. Unless someone says otherwise, I'm making for that gap. Oh. Oh, Jesus, come this way a little bit. There's a little depth to them. And I'm kind of close to the bottom here. Let's get a little shallower. Hello, Rensome. Stay under them? Shouldn't it just be a radius to them? Shouldn't it just be a radius? Yeah, I hope they're not frickin' captors. God, those things are so annoying in Reinforce Alert, those goddamn captors. Oh. Okay. Uh, I, I, I am aware of the depth beneath the keel, nav, or helm, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'm well aware of the goddamn gimbal. Jesus. But you will see planes underwater. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. They look very much just like cylinders. This water is getting rather... Sh Let's come right. Come right a little bit. Come a little shallow. And we're just making for this picket. Man. <sighs> okay, it's gonna get shallower before it gets deeper. Well, it should just be getting shallower at this point, I guess. It's not gonna be getting deeper, boy. What does that look like? I guess it looks like a mine. And it's got a wire underneath of it. It's just hanging there. Okay. But yes, we passed through. And there's a helo nearby. I can hear him, so we're gonna slow down. Even though we're still beneath the layer, his dipping sonar doesn't care about that. His dipping sonar can get beneath that layer. Come right 10 degrees. I. Hello, War Knight. Howdy doody. Depth on their kill. Yeah, I, I figured it was sonar's job. Sounding. Sounding. So it looks like we're going to make it through this minefield. Unscathed by the mines, at least. So do you have to get really close to them, or do you actually have to, like, hit them to set them off? I guess this is the course we want anyway. So go for it. What do commanders of nuclear subs do for fun? I don't know. Write reports. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we have no water. 
I'm surrounded by water, but I have no water to drink. There is a helo right over there. A rig for ultra quiet. No, don't do that. We are getting close to the drop-off point, and then we can barnstorm our way out of here. Barnstorm our way out. They skate. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> yeah, I'll just hit one. No big deal. I'll just hit. One. I'll save the seals that mercy or that terror. I'll hit it on the way out. And all my crew's like, "No, don't do that." There's that son of a gun Halo. Dark as hell out of here. Can't see him for shit. It is dark as night. <laughs> well, it is night. That's why it's dark as night. Ugh. But, well, we made it. We just had to survive a torpedo hit and dodging a bunch of other torpedoes. A reactor. Excuse me. Yes, every trip, every ship can mine sweep at mine sweep at least once. Did you hear about back in the day there was like some kind of mine sweepers that went off to like wakes or waves? So like to they would ha they would send big ships into like known mined harbors and have them like head straight for the mines and then hard rudder at the last second to send like a huge wave that would blow up these mines. It's freaking crazy. <laughs> Alright, give me that give me that two thirds there. I'm pushing it. Push it to the limit. I'm gonna go this way because that that land's getting kind of shallow over there. Oh well, that's fine, Maddie Conrad, because freaking those damn Splash guards are always getting ripped out. I, two of them got ripped out on my old car. Uh, yeah, you, you don't have to be surface. They're big boys. They know how to get out of a submerged submarine. Uh, slow down. And we're about to be in this drop-off point. Well, all right. Well, all right. Now we just got to get out of here once we get these seals off. <laughs> Oh, we are so close to being inside this launch bubble. And I'm gonna frickin' just wait till I get right- Okay, we're in here. Come to a stop. Oh, they just went away automatically. Are they just gone? Is there nothing to see on the map? No little dudes in a dinghy, like, in dangerous waters? But yes, they are out. We no longer have a Spec Ops team, so let's get the hell out of here. Uh, we'll come left. Come left to get the hell out of here. Let us get... Is there, there is nothing nearby. I can leave combat right now, can I not? Does anyone have any objections to me leaving combat right now? Because I don't. <laughs> I'm going to wait to see what you guys have to say. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> I'm leaving. Cool. Let me grab some water. There was a kilo. There was a kilo. And a Victor 3. Oh my god. Why were they having a Victor 3 do patrol duty? That is not to the best of that's ability. Holy crap. Yeah, there was some crap in this mission. <laughs> run, bitch, run. Alrighty, let us, uh, continue. Uh-oh. Oh, thank god. I thought I got, like, the bug where it gets stuck at the continue screen. Oh, it looks like the Spec Ops didn't make it. Is this is what is that what this is telling me? Alrighty. 
Our orders are to return to base. Good. I'm glad. Locate and sink any hostile warships during transit if possible. I, I will go for some subs if I see some subs. Uh, status report. Damage control. Yes, hull 56%. Let us continue. Ah! God damn it. <laughs> subs are heading right my way. <laughs> Mm. I forgot. I only have three torpedoes. I only have three torpedoes. <sighs> all right. Well, I'm 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 in a good position. So all hands, man your battle stations. Sierra One, signature. No, not a humpback. It's not a whale. It is not a whale, Beaumont. What is going on? Uh oh. My game is lagging out. It's lagging out on the on the sonar screen, man. It's lagging out hard. Charlie. Charlie 2 SSGN. I don't have enough in Oh my god. Oh no, my game is lagging out hard. What's going on that? Uh, how are these waters? Possibly good enough for Toad. Why are you lagging out? No, it is good enough for Toad. This is lagging out hard on the sonar on the signature screen. God damn it! Did it say if there was a layer? I don't remember. I don't think there is. I don't see any boobles. Well, I'm on a I'm I'm on default alpha. Alpha class Soviet submarine. Con sonar, new contact. Soviet Alpha class submarine. See you later, Red One Alpha. We have an Alpha Red One Alpha. Oh. 95% <laughs> percent confidence interval on that target. I'm going to lose him in the toad. So let's. Oh, don't do that. So let's come back, uh, rudder midships. I'm on such a difficulty level where it will detect the enemy automatically, so at least there's that. He is steaming for my butt hard, but he is out of range right now. He's too far. 12 miles away. I gotta wait till that alpha gets like to within 8,000 yards or something before I can even think about shooting him, man. See ya. I guess we're playing the waiting game at this point. I don't know. Let's get a little deeper. Oh, there is a layer. Okay. Alpha is cavitating. Stop. Stop doing that. Uh, I guess there is a layer. Go back up. Son of a... Ah, oh, that's annoying. That is annoying. We lost the contacts. How? Wh what was my depth before? It looked like there was a layer. Am I not shallow enough to regain contact? I don't think the layer was this shallow. I mean, I'll get up there. Right there, six five feet traditional periscope depth. Do they measure depth from the keel in this game? It doesn't seem like they do. Because at 6-5 feet, I should be pretty close to the surface of the water right now. Alpha has been regained. Oh, I meant to add... I, I asked you guys earlier, do you guys want to know a secret about the, vo the upcoming voiceovers for Cold Waters? Yes, there are upcoming voiceovers for Cold Waters. Uh, let's make sure these are all set to ping. <clears throat> the alpha is nuclear they model it that way in RA for a reason that I can't remember 
I think it's because it doesn't have a toad. Um, I am going to be the sonar voice for Cold Water, so I hope you like my voice because you're going to be getting your sonar information from yours truly when you play Cold Waters. Alpha contact. Has he freaking gone off further away or something here? <clears throat> no. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> I has a, it looks like I've regained Sierra too, maybe not. <laughs> uh I recorded I recorded a lot of the voice last night, got some more to record. <laughs> uh damn you, Amber. Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you, thank you. I thought I reacquired. That doesn't look like an alpha. Oh, wait, no, sorry. I was looking at the wrong profile there. Charlie 1. Charlie 1. I'm so con Wait, you said alpha before. Now you're saying Charlie 1. Oh, you're Italian? Okay. Are you Italian captain or are you not Italian captain? Because. I don't. You should check him out, Emperor. There's a guy named Italian Captain on YouTube. If you're not him, but uh, I guess not, because your nickname is Emperor Braz. But Italian Captain uploads DW in Italian. Oh, did I designate a Charlie on accident? I did. Let's see if I can even do this here. Oh, there it is, right there. So we got lucky. No, 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 not that. That. Okay, there you go. Con sonar contact Sierra One is classified as Alpha. You know, I'm not recording all these ship names. It says like submerged and escort and capital ship. <sighs> Try to evade the sub patrol. I haven't fought an Alpha though. I mean, the solution is really low. He can't hear me. I'm gonna go to two thirds to try and get some better bearing rate. Shit, not two thirds yet. Oh, but they're both above this layer, and there's a layer here. Can I? I'm gonna leave combat. I think. I don't think right now is a good time to do this. I don't. My boat. My boat's damaged. I have three torpedoes. So I think I'm gonna leave combat for now and try and get back to base to rearm. I want to fight some subs, some subs that aren't a frickin' Foxtrot and a Juliet, because that was a joke. But I, I need to get back to base here. Unfortunately, not right now. Uh, get out of here. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna get owned. I'm going 22 knots. God damn. Hmm. Man your battle stage. Slow down. Sonar's still freaking bugging out. I didn't see if this had a layer either. I don't I don't see anything on my sonar. Let's do a freaking full sweep of the baffles here. I'm doing sonar, Maddie Conrad, so you're gonna be hearing my voice a lot. <laughs> All right, check those baffles. I didn't frickin' see anything. Vessels nearby. Okay, that doesn't distinguish between submarines and ships. Vessels nearby, there's a layer. I'm beneath the layer, so I think I got lucky in that regard. Yeah, I guess I should have gone a little slower at first. I was getting, I was itching to get out of there. But I seem, I seem to be beneath the layer, so I think I got lucky here. Let us, uh, let's come up. Let's come shallow here. Get above this layer. 
that I can see. It's not showing up on the conditions pane. But I can see this layer. Oh my god, it's bugging out hard. New contacts here, one. Level the planes. That is a distant frickin' contact, dude. Are, are, are they telling me that's the vessel nearby? Slow down. Ooh, Foxtrot. I didn't want to slow down. I wanted to slow down time lapse, not myself. Can I corroborate this track as Foxtrot? <clears throat> Excuse me. God, this is annoying. I've seen people deal with this before, or get this, or heard about people getting this issue with the freaking <clears throat> FPS crap. Okay, whatever. That's not freaking doable right now. That's true, okay. Hug the coast? Hug the coast? This guy's really far away. They're saying I can't clear the area. Is it really just this foxtrot that's, that's the issue right now? I'm gonna clear the baffles again up here. I really want to see what his signal strength is on me. Ooh. Nearly enough to be picking me up right now. He's getting six decibel on the passive. But he's so far away. He's getting six decibel on the passive. Okay, well, let's, uh, here. At least try and get some steady bearing rate, even though we're kind of lead lead right now. Oh, to the east? Wait, to the east? Here, I'm gonna... Oh, there he is! Hello! Look at that. There's a fox trot running tandem with me right now. I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> See you later! I got freaking intercepted by a damn fox trot. He can't even hear my ass. I mean, I'm getting him at what? Freaking 19 decibel on the toad? He's seen me at 3 decibel on his passive. Do click the condition button, thank you. Okay. Let's just try and open it up from this guy here. I just want to get away from him. I just want to get away from you. <clears throat> okay. So you're thinking he's closer or further away? I don't know. Okay, we can leave combat now. Good. Get out of here. I'm in a very frickin' fragile position. Let's go up this way. Wait, so you want me to go you want me to go along the coast or you want me to go just like out in the ocean? Up to the Arctic and then head west. So North of this Norwegian place? North of here? You want me to go north of Spitsbergen? Oh, save. Yeah, I should save. That's true. <laughs> okay. Full steam ahead. This is very la-di-da, but the, the fate of my submarine hangs in the balance. There seems to be either very poor recon going on right now, or there aren't any enemy boats in the vicinity right now. Nothing in the Greenland Sea. Nothing around here. Oh, there's a little frickin' patrol. That could be a bastion. I don't really want to touch those guys. Just go this way. This should be fine. Is this really a Sosis line? Did we really have a Sosis line right here? That's frickin' crazy. How did the Russians not throw just like a piss fit about that? I don't know. Is there really like a Sosis line right there? Is that why you see ships crossing that? Because there's a Sosis line right there? Oh, yeah, let me restart the game real quick here. Um, Norway attacked by Russia. I need to get my boat repaired and get back in this fight. But yes, I'm going to save. I'm going to quit. I'm going to restart the game real quick here. Because it's bugging out like a mofo. Quit. 
let us start it up again. Thankfully, this game starts up quickly here. Dude, move the frickin' chat window. Okay, delete that. Cold waters. Start it up. But the Mid-Atlantic Ridge doesn't go between those two parts of Norway. Okay. Unit reference. Let us check out the Alpha-class submarine. There is your Alpha model right there. Looks pretty similar to the RA-1s because they're based on actuality, but yes, here's your Alpha model. Six tubes. They got their centerline bow planes. They got scoops for the feed water and the reactors back there. They got some vents. Vents for the double hull. Air, air, air outlets out there. You got your emergency or your uh, your low speed maneuvering props back here. And then this frickin' Sierra has a goddamn like shark mouth on the front, which is so silly to me. <laughs> Ugh, <laughs> Juliet. Ugh. Yeah, Echo. Okay, that was an Echo too. A lot of these older boats I've heard of before, but never really seen them. Just curious to see them in 3D. Charlie 1, Charlie 2. Oscar. Supposedly the Oscar has a test depth of 2,000 feet, which is frickin' nuts. I didn't know that. Yankee, Delta. Victor 3, you call it. Victor 3 is longer. They all get longer. Victor 1 is like the shortest, and then Victor 2 and Victor 3, they all get longer as they go along. November, Kilo, Tango. When did Kilos come out? Is that anachronistic? I, I'm assuming not. Oh, hello, the Kiev. Haven't seen that, thankfully. All right, let's get back into the game. Oh, Victor 3 is quiet. Victor 3 is the quietest Russian sub in this game. Camp in. Lord. Uh, this one. Yes. Where the hell am I? That is, this is not the right campaign. That is not the right campaign. That is a different campaign, I think. <laughs> I'm just going to load the autosave. Or is it maybe... It might be... Is it this one? It might be this one. Let me load this and see if this is it. Oh, yeah, and DW, it's noisy short. Yeah, this is it. Okay. The save file was a different name. Let's go back to base. We're under allied air cover. Well, all right. I want to go hunting for some frickin' orc. Let's frickin' get posted up and repair. Get out back to sea. Because I want to sink some shit. Insertions won. Hey. First insertion mission was a partial success. Amphibious landing at Andoya. Four hours ago? I don't know if I can make this in time. I need to get repaired. I guess I am repaired. Uh, quickly load, load, load. Is that is this the news for the invasion? Did they just invade, rearm, and repair? Give me two of this. Give me two, uh, three, uh, three moss. Put one in the tube. And then Mark 48s load them up, load, 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 and let's get back out to frickin' C. Uh, get out there. Orders. Where is Andoya? Andoya is all the way over there. Get over that way. Go, go, go. I don't know if we can get there in time. If they're leaving from Murmansk, that's a very short journey. But we're gonna. Oh, there they are right there. Oh, those subs are coming right for me. Uh, slow. I think I'm gonna run into that surface ship patrol. No. Go, 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 go. Okay, slow. 
Okay, we made it. This may be sticky icky, but we're gonna try it. One insertion, but no pulled out. No, there wasn't any system damage, it was just hull damage. So let's, uh, all hands man your battle stations. Oh, I wanted three moss. That's fine. I mean, I guess I technically have three moss, but I wanted three stores. That's fine. Man your battle stations. Man your battle stations. Alrighty. What do we got? Sierra 1. Yay, it's not lagging out. Okay. Slow down. Ooh, this water is rather deep. Oh, wow, really deep. Aren't I close to shore? That's fine, I'm not complaining. I don't... Was there any... Was there any surface duck stuff? I don't remember. Oh, hello. Hello. Lots of stuff. Signature. Oh, my God, all the stuff. Um, Let's start with what's closest. Give me Sierra 2. Holy crap, there's a lot of contacts. Um, yeah. Sverdlov? No, that's close. That's not Sverdlov, though. Holy crap, Sierra 6. I would be going crazy right now with all these freaking voiceovers. What was that? Amguema. Sierra 3. Alligator. Uh, give me Sierra Force. Six Sierras? Holy shnikes. Oh, there's a ping. There's your first ping. First ping of the day. That was close. Ooh, hello. Canyon. Haven't seen a canyon in a while. Sierra Six. And we're getting very strong narrowband contacts on these bad boys. Chilikan was close, but not Chilikan. Man, sometimes this music sounds weird. It's like... Sverdlov was cl close, but not Sverdlov. No Sverdlov, no cigar. Rapucha. Where's Sierra 6? Oh my god. Sierra 1, Sierra 5, I think, is what I wanted to classify. I thought I was on Sierra 6. Not enough... I guess that looks like a frequency right there. This could be something quieter. This could be a sub. No, it looks like an Anguema as well, and then Sierra 1. Uh, going crazy. Oodaloy. Oodaloy. It's times like these you learn to love again. It's times like these you learn to love. Auto TMA. It's times like these time and time again. I want to go to Periscope Depth and see these bad boys. No duct, no layer. You have to, yeah, that's annoying. It's weird you have a layer that close in the shore in that other mission, but then have a freaking, you know, whatever. A ship interior? Probably not in this game. At least anytime soon, Maddie C. That would be a very large effort. A very large effort indeed. Let us go ahead and level out. Why do I keep saying, like, let us? I'm talking, like, very formally. Let's go ahead and level out right now. Maybe a bit premature. Already out of water again. Yeah, this is premature. Just use ballast at this point. It's fine. It would be useful. It is useful, but it gets overwhelming when there are a lot of contacts, and it's nice to have others focusing on it. Alright. Level out that ballast. Level it out. Even it out. Something. Alright. Raise that scope. 
And let's look due east. It's kind of like dusk. Signal strength 6. Zoom. Low light TV. I guess I should have checked potential ranges. Not seeing anyone. Ten miles? Ooh, Sierra seven. What bearing is that? That's a helo. But that's not a sonar contact. Wait, 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 wait. I sh should I be seeing something? I don't see shit. Lower it. Oh boy. Oh boy. I think all these guys are like stationary right now. They don't they don't really seem to be moving. Oh, I just got a ping from that direction. Anguema. I, I saw that helo. I guess that helo was closer in. Yeah, let's, uh, I'm gonna head that way, because I saw the helo this way, so I'm gonna head that way. Okay, CR7. Let me see if I can't get a signature on CR7 here. Let's, uh, full rudder right. Give me some down angle and some ballast. Uh, it's looking like a fourth frequency is right there. That could be a caution. That could be a caution. Could definitely be a caution. But yeah, let's go full right. Come this way. Alrighty, Matty C. Catch you later. Did you get hull no- I have yet to hear any hull noises in this game. That would scare the hell out of me. Could lose all these guys in the toad as I do about- as I come across with this turn here. Come about. Yeah, my hull's all patched up. Damage control, 100%. We're all good. All good in the hood. Give me active. 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 Pop up shallow. Don't seem to have any submerged contacts as of now. I'm like very close to the end of my like rolly pad, so I like to make sure that the wheels aren't hanging off because it gets annoying. <laughs> uh I did I do wish I could have individual not control instead of just one third, two third standard. Yeah, I'm losing echo. Of course I lose echo. It's a freaking ESM contact, dude. It's not a sonar contact. All right, well, I guess we can do a little time lapse. Let's do this. Dat Udaloid. How are these solutions looking? None of them are particularly strong. They're getting kind of strong. As we come in a little closer here. Where's that Udaloid contact? Oh, I just passed over it. Okay. He's at zero decibel on his toad. So we're starting to get close enough to that Udaloy. Yeah, the, the permit permit's age is starting to show a little bit against an Udaloy. Uh, that I cannot really talk to. Well, the LA-68, the 68I has a little ring around the edge of the propeller, which prevents uh, tip cavitation to some extent. But full shrouds, I'm not sure. Uh, the Trafalgar class, which is rather old, got shrouds after the Trafalgar, the lead boat. The subsequent boats all had shrouds on them. I think the Trafalgar was even ret was backfitted with a shroud, but yeah, the Trafalgar class, I think, was the first major boat to have a shroud. And I think it's worth noting the difference between a shroud and a pump jet, because I think a pump jet, like, shoots water like a jet, but, like, it's just otherwise it's just like a shrouded propeller. All right, let's just keep time lapsing here. Not on the signature screen, but on the conditions screen. Ooh, hello. We have a, uh, hold on. Not two thirds, one third. Oodaloy, we have a firing solution on the Oodaloy. Oh, it's been a while since I've been looking at a surface ship that I can actually see signature. 
Zero decibel on his toad, which probably means his toad isn't out. It said zero decibel before. Oh, hello. So we have we have good solutions on a lot of people here. Escorts. Oh, oh. Okay, I was wondering why that was so loud. It's because I'm right next to the Oodaloy as he's pinging that. It is nice to go for the frickin' these ships. But the escorts are putting themselves in the way. Yeah, in the book, the Red October was just a pump jet, but in the in the movie, they made, like, the, the frickin' crazy-ass electromagnetic somehow propelling water stuff or whatever. Canyon. Oh, well, yeah, I can just click it. Okay. These guys are still rather far away. It will be nice to have a layer. Part of me wants to frickin' just go to two-thirds. That Uloi. Yeah, I just lost some percentage on that Oodaloy because he's maneuvering. Yeah, it also reduces the potential for cavitation because it creates higher pressure at the outlet because it, you know, comes, it goes from like bigger to smaller. So it reduces, it increases the pressure, which re increases your cavitation speed. Lost contact, caution, last bearing 068, contact faded. Get used to it. You're going to be hearing it. <laughs> Magneto hydrodynamic drive. It's a real thing. Hello, rent a cow. It's a real thing from what I've seen, but it's very inefficient. Or not, it's just slow. It's really slow. Yeah, do it. Balls to the ball, two thirds. I guess I got to worry about helos at two thirds. But I see no helos right now. It's gonna kind of wreak havoc on my solutions. Let's uh, come this way a little bit. Oh, they're all kind of maneuvering. Did they w did they get a whiff of me? Have I lost the complete tactical advantage here? Shit. Slow down. They're all turning away. Hmm. I may need to disengage, because if they're all heading away at this at such a speed, I can't catch them. I'm not catching them. So I may need to disengage here and try and attack them again. Yeah, I need to break off. They must have gotten a whiff of me or something, because they all seem to be just heading away from me. And I need to break track and try and get after them again from a different angle. Yeah, I need to break contact. It, it always takes a little bit of time before, before I see your text. Okay, we got to leave. Uh, and I'm going to try to just quickly... Oh, okay, so I can't readjust. The invasion is just over now. I I couldn't catch up to him. The tactical advantage had been lost. I guess I could, could, have, could have considered launching some missiles. But nope, they invaded. I'm going to grab some more water. Oh, well, I wish I'd seen that before I quit the freaking mission. <laughs> no, I, I messed up my approach anyway. I should have, like... If land is right here, I approached them from, like, this way. I should have approached them from, like, directly out to sea so they couldn't really maneuver side reel that well. I guess I could have tried to launch some missiles or something, but I probably should have tried to launch some missiles, huh? <laughs> Alrighty. Well, we got a new new order anyway. Sail from Arkhangelsk. Rendezvous near the Greenland Sea. Okay. I think I saw some submarine groups out here, so let's try and uh, freaking find some submarine groups or something. There were subs right around here. Where are they at? Arkhangelsk. Okay, well, those guys are crossing over that Sosa's line. That's why they can be seen. Oh, 
Okay, well, <laughs> they just invaded NATO, but... Okay. NATO has struck back. I still want to know what happened to Putin. He didn't exactly slip on his tea, did he? The man was a pig. But it's something we all should have talked about first. You are not in command here. If the crew finds out, we could have a mutiny. Now, the, the crew is not what I'm worried about. The worry is the Americans. Yeah, I don't know why that F-15 takes off with the air breakout. <laughs> All hands, man your battle stations. Let's, uh, let's get a little closer. We've got a weak thermal layer. Our depth is 150 feet, so we are beneath the layer. Technically. Let's try 20 kilo yards. All hands, man your battle stations. Slow down. Alright, let's get these bad boys on active. Top side search. Alrighty. We are beneath the layer. Moderate duct. Let us get topside. It doesn't look like they model the depth as at the keel. Because if that was the case, I should barely be below that layer on this map here. Because, like, the bottom of the boat should be, like, right now, like, above the layer on this map. <laughs> Most things in here don't react well to bullets. Yeah, like me. I don't react well to bullets. Alright, we're up here. Level her out. Now let's, uh, let's keep going to periscope depth. Let's keep going to periscope depth here. Oh, it's nighttime again. All this nighttime stuff. Not a problem. Yeah, I've seen Hunt for October so many times. <laughs> Alright, let's level her out. Sierra 1. We can chew on a signature. That looks like a con in again. And I've got an Okada. Kara. Kara. Very well. Uh, let's come this way a little bit. Not really seeing him on our toad here. Come this way. No, we are seeing him on the toad. Never mind. Disregard. Alright. Uh, we need to come a little... Sh not that much. Hey, Danny. Danny Darko. Does the track have Red October vibes? Yeah, I suppose part of it does. Oh shit, I need to pay attention. Not right now. I don't know if it really has Red October vibes right now. <laughs> Donnie, I know you saw that picture of that pizza the other day. That was good. Mm hmm. Alright, what are we looking at for bearing here? 118. What the hell was that? It was lit up like a damn Christmas tree. What the hell was that shit? Hello. Uh, someone said I need to come a little shallower if the range isn't really working out well. Okay, it seems to be 12 kilo yards. Signal strength 5, not too big. Is this one ship? Just one ship. Nothing that way. This looks like just one ship. No aircraft. Lower that. Interesting. And he's close. He's in firing range. So let's go ahead and frickin' match bearings and fire here. Alrighty. Let's turn to bear. Uh, give me some depth. <laughs> Are there really no mellow mushrooms further north than, like, D.C.? Okay, no, I'm... Oh, wait, here. Go back to periscope depth. There was a, uh... A pinger coming from this way. I want to check that out. Okay, we're good on the course. Alright, level out, level out, level out. This Kata... Has a toad. 
but should not be seeing me just yet. I want to see what the Sierra 2 is. I guess I could figure out real quick here. Looks like a Krivak. Okay. But some range would be nice on that guy. Kata. Okay, level her out. Rez. Uh, get a little shallower. If you can. Okay, that's good. Periscope. Oh. Oh, say can you see? Oh, say can you see? Holy shit. Okay, we gotta shoot. We have to shoot on that dude now. I don't see anyone else. Okay. Match bearings and fire. But Captain, we are too close. The torpedo's armed in the tubes. Do it now. Uh. Los. I'm gonna I'm gonna do two two torps of this bad boy. I learned my lesson with that Kirov. All right, let's get a little deeper here. Torpedo in the water. See you later, card Stark. Good night and good luck. I am still streaming. I do not know why. I'll probably cease after this engagement. Oh, those torps are about to hit that enable point right there. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't seeing anything off in the r in the in the realm of that frickin' Cresta. All right, level everything out. We're good here. I don't really want to get beneath the Slayer just yet. I love seeing the planes actuate. Oh, it's great. Okay, level her out. Still have the wires. Those torps are about to hit their points. And turn on. I can steer. Okay, we got a good lock on tube one. Tube two, we got a good lock. Yeah, boy. He doesn't seem to hear me. What's the amb oh, ambience? 101 decibels. All right, sweet. Sea of Japan, South China Sea. They plan to add some modern DLC, like some. Oh, one hit. Didn't kill him. I'm glad I got two. Number two, number two for the win. Yeah, boy. We got him. Kara, that's a big boat. That's a big boat. All right, we need to dive and get beneath this layer here. Uh, reload these tubes, please. Not paying attention. Well, it feels good to finally sink something after being hunted for this whole frickin' campaign thus far. Let's, uh, come some more right. There's a crest of this. Ooh. Okay, now maybe come left. We'll head for- we'll head- we'll head for our bad boy here. Let's go two-thirds. We have, uh... The acoustics are to our advantage. We have ourselves a loud environment right now. Ooh, there's some secondary explosions going on over there. Oh, this game is this game is beautiful, dude. I'm really enjoying the permit a lot. Uh yeah, I'll get on. I uh, I was considering recording some more of the voice orders tonight, but I'm not sure if I should under the influence. <laughs> and I've been talking a lot, so I'm not sure my voice is good. I'm, I'll probably have to wait. Um yeah, there's a Cresta due south, but he may be breaking contact here. Hilo is near somewhere. Okay, there's a Hilo over that way. Not really that close to me. And the environment is rather loud. The thing is, submarines are, are such simple shapes. Like, once you get to a certain point of, like, polygon density, like, they can't really look too much better. Surface ships, on the other hand, are different.
More gameplay then? Oh, that thing is going to the bottom, dude. It's going down hard. Oh, and it hit. Tipping over. Ocean here is deeper than a thousand feet. Where am I looking on this guy? There's me. Chilling like a villain. Oh, hello. What the hell is that? Oh, there's the Krivok. Okay. I can see the Krivok, even though it's above the layer. I guess it is a moderate duct. Range, 12.2 kilo yards. This is a firing solution. He's going fast as hell. He's going flank. Okay, well, let's turn to bear. I guess we can get ready to launch on his butt. Oh, and since I've sunk surface... Ooh, wait, 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 wait. We have the patch, so that bug shouldn't exist anymore. There should not be the uh, vessels nearby dead ship bug anymore. Which is good. But yeah, we're turning to bear on this lead point. Is he really going to be there in like X amount of time, that lead point? I guess that's a conflagration of how far I am to him and his speed and everything. Okay, well, uh, keep turning a little bit more. Even route here. Give me that topside search. And let's get a torp. That doesn't seem right. But we'll do it. I mean, I can always adjust it. Let's do... It doesn't... S well, I guess he is... Okay, let's do it. I'm going to trust it. I'm going to trust it. Let's go ahead and... I'll aim it more a little this way. Los. And uno mas... No, this is a Krivak. One, one is sufficient, so never mind. We'll go with one. Uh, come left a little bit here. Is this a... T oh, wait. Is No, this is a tender mission, but this is a random surface group. I don't think this is what I'm going after. This is just a random patrol. Excuse me. Did the wire snap? No, it's still good. Here, go ahead and do this. This guy's all the way down here. Come this way a little bit more. That may be too far. Do, uh, that. I guess I technically am, but I'm just trying to have fun. <laughs> and they they ran into me. I don't know. I probably could have disengaged at the beginning, but every little bit's got to help. Okay, now he should be veritably shitting his pants. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to see. Dude, I want to see the crest, the Krivak. There you go. Yeah. He is turning hard. Oh. I love how these wake ripples are modeled. That's so cool looking. Look at that shit. It looks like you're viewing it from... Oh, that torp is coming in. Pow. Right in the kisser. Alright, let's slow down. Rig for silent. There is an aircraft nearby, so we're gonna go ahead and turn around. Turn around. Every now and then. A sea wolf mission? In this game, there's no sea wolf in this game. There is a Hilo nearby. And I don't know where. But we're just I'm just gonna head due east, I think, and just try and get out of here. So just speed up some time, head due east. This Hilo has nothing to return to. There's no more ships out here, it doesn't seem like. Oh hello. There's the Kata. I'm just gonna stick to two thirds. Uh, reload the two, please. We're not rigging for ultra quiet. You almost reached a million tons? Good lord, dude. A million tons. It's crazy. Okay, we are clear. So I'm gonna stop here. Thanks, you, Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been fun. This is a pretty good one. Surprised I beat that Spec Ops mission. 
it's kind of like a war of attrition. I just had to survive a lot of enemy torpedoes. But then we got through that minefield and sunk, sunk a kata, which is nice. But I missed that landing force completely. <laughs> uh. Alrighty. Leave combat. Sunk, sunk. <laughs> you can go to sleep now. Well done, but this was not your mission target. Ah, oh, they're negging me. Well done, but... Okay. Oh, there's another one coming right for me. We will address that next time. So see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. And as always, good hunting.